P.T. Barnum once said, No one ever lost a dollar underestimating the taste of the American public. His career in show business with the Big Top Circus provided the truth of his statement. Phineas Taylor Barnum broke through barriers in American history when he created a whole new branch of entertainment business in the 1860s. Throughout his life, he made strides in America's entertainment business by taking the circus into the mainstream's entertainment. He employed what he called his great wonders of the world by creating the Big Top Circus, or what he called the greatest show on earth. Phineas Taylor Barnum broke barriers in the entertainment industry by starting the P.T. Barnum Circus, which did more than popularize circus entertainment and mainstream entertainment and culture than any other show or event in the mid-19th century. P.T. Barnum was born on July 5, 1810. At an early age of 12, his business personality was already starting to show. He sold cherry Roman snacks to classmates to make extra money. He did this until he took over his father's business. He worked at his father's store. This was not Barnum's true passion in life. But while owning the store, he met his wife, Nancy Fish. By the age of 25, Barnum had proclaimed himself as the Prince of Humbugs, which is meant to say he was the voice of the people who were different on his earth. On his early path to success, he started out as a newspaper publisher. After leaving the newspaper business, he became an owner of a boarding house. By 1841, he started his life career. He bought out an old museum and made it his own. The museum was an old animal exhibits holding no value to the Barnum. These exhibits were from poachers of wildlife who preserved the animals. Eventually, one by one, he started to turn each exhibit into one he wanted. He replaced three with statues of famous oddities each exhibit Barnum was proud of. He made each exhibit perfect to the eye of the public. The museum he created housed over 85,000 exhibits. He was proud to call his own. Barnum's museum started out as an extremely small business, which famously burned once. But Barnum's later rebuilt nearby. This museum was something he loved and a moment of pride for him, even though it was not fully completed until after his death. Although he had the museum that, the, that he loved, he was most proud of, what his, of his circus. P.T. Barnum is credited for creating the American Circus. His circus started out a stationary establishment where people from everywhere came to see P.T. Barnum's famous show. Acts like Jojo the Dog-Faced Boy and General Tom Thumb were showcased within his circus. Because of his passion and love of the circus, P.T. Barnum began a trend for advertising and exaggerated publicity. With his passion of, for adverti advertising, his beloved circus, the famous show, became extremely popular worldwide. It became so popular that P.T. Barnum and his traveling circus were invited to Europe to meet the Queen of England. Barnum was ecstatic and how about how popular his exhibits were getting, and soon he began looking for new additions to his show. One of his later addictions was the bearded lady who astonished most crowds, but eventually he grew tired of museum and started working with Jenny Lind, a famous opera singer. The American people had never seen the oddities of the world. He made his circus one of the most profitable industries in the entertainment business. The industries would bring profit to the business for years to come. Barnum insisted his whole life that all of the money could be made from the public. Barnum once said, money is good for nothing unless you know the value of it from experience. He stuck by that until death. He also had some minor accomplishments throughout his career. Barnum popularized the opera in the United States with the helps from Jenny Lind, who was an opera singer from Europe. He later published his accomplishments, such as the life of P.T. Barnum, which he told of his story. In his book, he stated, Whatever you do, do it with all your might. Work at it, if necessary, early and late, in season and out of season, not leaving a stone unturned, and never deferring for a single hour that which can be done such as well now. The old proverb is full of truth and meaning. Whatever is worth doing at all, is worth doing well. Many a man acquires a fortune by doing his business through 
while his neighborhood remains poor for life because he only half does it. Ambitions, energy, industry, perseverance are indispensable requests for success in business. Fortune always favors the brave and never helps a man who does not help himself. P.T. Barnum's legacy fulfilled his dreams of doing it all your might. He made a vision for many businesses men to follow. By the time P.T. Barnum was 80, he had established Barnum's American Museum. It was not completely finished before he passed. He died in his sleep of an old age and never saw his museum fully finished. After his death, a statue was submerged in his town in Connecticut. His circus was later brought and merged with one of his business competitors, which turned his circus into Bailey Circus. But P.T. Barnum was yet to be forgotten. People will, take, people will talk about him and his accomplishments for years to come. His museum soon after taken over just to, be, just to put exhibits in that were dedicated to him, making sure no one ever forgot him. P.T. Barnum once said, No one ever lost a dollar underestimating the taste of the American public. His career in show business with the Big Top Circus provided the truth of his statement. Phineas Taylor Barnum broke through barriers in American history when he created a whole new branch of entertainment business in the 18th.